two, oh, actually one, which is going to be the second one. Once we have done that, the time array will display correctly. And instead of uh, typing a mess like in a messy way here, like we just did, I'm just going to create a new variable to organize everything in. So I'm going to create a new variable called clock HTML input. So that's going to equal to time arrays, uh, the arrays first value, which is going to now contain the correct image tags and the actual HTML input, plus the colon image tags. So we're, here we are going to just create a new uh, HTML tag. So image source close. And then the source is going to be where the colon is located, which is the last image. And that's going to be number images 12, which is the very last uh, image where the colon is located, colon.gif file is located. We're going to say now we want the minutes tag array coming out, so array 1. And we want the colon file once again. So I'm just going to copy and paste this part. Copy and paste. And then we want the seconds. So time array 2. And finally, we want the image, the AM or PM tags to appear in their HTML format. So once again, we create another image tag, image source. And uh, we're going to say plus the variable AM or PM, which we defined above. And once we have done that, instead of typing all of this messy code here, we're going to just say output the HTML or the, var the JavaScript variable clock HTML input. And if we go back, nothing happens. So let's see what we can fix here. So document writes clock HTML input. Whoops, to get rid of that. And We have set it correctly, so clock HTML input. Let's let's go to Firefox and open up our error console. So if we go to our error, clear everything, reload the page, we have two errors. So OAM and PM is not defined. And that's on line 48. So if we go back to 48, there you go. I have to capitalize the AM part. So we save that, go back reload there you go finally everything appears as they should so right now it's seven o'clock thirty minutes in and thirty four seconds and then it's in the afternoon so it's pm so i'm just going to get rid of that and there you have it this is a very basic uh, html and if you want um, you, if you want to stop the tutorial here you're perfectly fine to do so you have everything you need to implement this into your website all I've done is uh, I've, d I've made it look a little bit better. So we're going to go ahead and make this look a little bit better as well. So I'm just going to shrink that down back again. Go back to the HTML file. And now we're going to add in some CSS. So let's go to the very top where we had our CSS tags or styling tags. Let's first give a background of black HTML background color is going to equal to black. Our h1 tag is going to um, have a color of uh, medium gray or I think that's lighter gray. Lighter gray and if we go back to our file and reload the page there you go we have a little bit of styling. Let's go to our h1 tag and uh, capitalize everything so text transform uppercase and give us some letter spacing so it looks a little bit cooler so 0.4 em 
go back, refresh, we have a little bit more styling there. And let's give the font of current time, uh, let's give it a font of 18 pixels and a line height of 26 pixels. And our first choice of font is going to be Trajan Pro, which I have installed on my computer, so my computer will display Trajan Pro. If that's not is available, we'll just say Times New Roman, if not Times, and if not Serif. So if we go back, it's just going to change to Trajan Pro. Uh, there you go, a little bit smaller font of 18 pixels. Text align, we're going to say center. Padding top, we want it to be 180 pixels, and padding bottom, 25 pixels. So if we go back here, refresh it, there you go, we have a little bit more styling. Now we want the clock to actually appear in the center as well. And how we're going to do that is we're going to, uh, we're actually going to change the JavaScript. Remember how we created the span tag called clock? We want the HTML uh, imp be inputted inside that span clock or inside that span uh, span with that ID. So we're going to actually delete this part where we just wrote it arbitrarily anywhere. And we're going to say document get element by ID and our ID is going to be clock and inner HTML is going to be clock HTML input. And if we refresh this page, let's go to reload. Let's see. ID clock inner HTML clock input. Okay, I have to put a semicolon there. Let's see. If we go refresh. Nope, still not working. Oh wait, wait. We haven't uh, given any styling for the P tag. So let's go back to our styling tag. Go to the very top. and say paragraph tag is equal to text line center. There you go, now everything should look fine. So we refresh this page, there you go, we have everything centered. But wait, it's not updating, so the clock's broken right now. <laughs> so in order to update this, we have to insert one very simple function at the end. And it's going to say update this function every 1000 milliseconds. So go to the very bottom, and we're going to create a function that's going to update the clock every second and we're going to do this by using the set interval JavaScript function. So set interval clock HTML parentheses that's the function we want to uh, update or go through every single second so duration is going to be 1000 milliseconds which is equal to 1 seconds and let's delete this and go back and refresh So there you go, the clock is updating every second. Now if you remember if uh, when I reloaded this page, or I'll just reload again right, one more time right now, there's a slight delay before the clock actually appears. Because the clock HTML file is first run through after one second has passed since the page has loaded. So in order to avoid that, we're going to add back in our clock HTML function here. And that's basically going to say start the clock on page load so there isn't any one second delay. So if I go back, refresh it, of course you can't really see anything because there's no uh, blank that's going to appear now. Everything is fine, there's no uh, blank or delay of one second. And all of the images are preloaded, so everything works perfectly. Uh, there's no uh, blanks during the first 10 seconds either. And this clock works great in Internet Explorer 6 and 7 as well, so it's cross-browser uh, compatible. So I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. If, you, uh, if this tutorial helped you out, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be uh, seeing you in my next tutorial. Take care, guys.